Hi, I'm Brian from Abstract Instruments. Here I'm going to go over the VS1 DIY build materials and describe exactly what parts are necessary to complete the VS1 build. I'm also going to go over your options for sourcing all of the parts. So first here we're looking at the VS1 bomb. You can see here the current version is 0.95 at the top of the page. The bomb lists every part that is necessary to complete the VS1. In other words, these are all the parts that are not included in the VS1 DIY kit. The VS1 DIY kit itself includes all of the custom parts for the build, including the PCBs, the enclosure, potentiometers, connectors, hardware, and other custom parts. Whereas the bomb here includes all of the common parts that are to be sourced. So just briefly, you can see here the bomb is organized by PC board assembly. So if I scroll down, you can see here's the main board all of the parts for the main board, voice cards, panel board, voice motherboard, chorus board, and hardware down the bottom. So for each section you have all of the parts. You have the description, the designator, quantity, um, the vendor or best case vendor, part numbers for Mauser and DigiKey for pretty much every part that is available from them. So there are several options for going about sourcing the parts. The first option is to buy the full parts kit from our online store. This is for those of you who don't already have a large inventory of parts on hand and need to buy pretty much everything. The price is 995 US dollars. Um, if you were to try to source everything from different suppliers from the bomb yourself, the estimated price is around $1380, so just under $1400. So you save about 30% um, by buying the full parts kit from, from our store. Our parts kits are also packed individually for each PCB assembly. All the parts aren't just mixed together, so there's some added value there and less hassle when it comes time to assemble the boards. So option two is to buy the more hard to find parts from our store as a kit, the VS1 rare parts kit and then buy all the generic parts from the usual suppliers. In this case, you see at the bottom here, there's a second sheet called VS1 Bomb No Rear Parts. So this is the bomb minus the rear parts that are available as a kit from our store. So basically you're looking at here the common parts. Pretty much everything can be purchased from Mauser and or DigiKey or your favorite supplier. Now for those of you who buy most of your parts from Mauser and DigiKey, we've gone ahead and made a third worksheet called VS1 Bomb No Rear Parts Split Cart. This is the same as the second worksheet, basically the bomb without the rear parts, except we've gone ahead and made carts for Mauser and DigiKey for all of the parts. So you can see here, if you click on this link, it'll take you to the Mauser cart for all of the parts that are available from Mauser. This is almost the entire bomb. And then likewise, if you scroll down, there's a DigiKey cart for the remaining parts that weren't available or aren't currently in stock at Mauser. Now between these two carts, you'll have pretty much all the parts you need. So in this case, you would have purchased or pledged for the VS1 DIY kit and then you would have bought our rear parts kit or you would have had the rear parts on hand already and just needed the common parts. So it's all here. Now of course at the time that you click on these carts some of the parts might not be in stock so you might need to um, try to get a few of the parts from the Mauser bomb from DigiKey or so forth but this will get you 99.9% .9 of the way there. Now there's one more option down the bottom here there's a connector that has not been in stock at DigiKey in a long time, in a few months, and it doesn't look like it's going to be in stock. So whereas most of the 2 millimeter headers are available from DigiKey, we went ahead and put a link to an eBay supplier uh, for the part in case you can't get a hold of it from DigiKey. So in this case, if you were to buy this item here, the entire DigiKey cart, and then the entire Mauser cart, you would have all the common parts. Now we'll go ahead and look at the rear parts just to see what's in there. So the rear parts kit from our website is $395 US. Includes the custom ADSRs, the 3310 ICs, the transistor arrays, 
the 3086 transistor arrays, the OTAs, the 3080. Um, the OTAs, there's 40 of them in a VS1. That is the bulk of the cost of the um, rare parts is, is in these OTAs. The KRL Rhydon 1K PTCs. You have the push switch set, the OLED screen, the V2164 quad VCAs from Cool Audio, the very hard to find and very expensive BBD clock drivers, and uh, 1024 stage BBDs. You also have the power supply enclosure, the SIFAM control knobs, and control knob caps. Now the third option is to buy everything yourself. So again, back to the first worksheet, VS1 bomb all. In the case of this option, where you likely have a lot of these parts on hand already, or you have a cheap source to buy the generic resistors and capacitors and so forth, in this case we still have a couple parts that we sell individually. There's the push switch set. So the 31 push switches, there are four different variants in the standard kit. There is um, a version with the black cap, no LED. There's the black cap with a single LED, 20 of those. There is a gray cap with a single LED. There's one of those, the function button. And then there's the black cap with the dual LED, and there's six of those in the VS1. So we sell these as a set from the website to make it um, easy for you if you're going with the standard color scheme. These aren't included in the standard VS1 synth DIY kit because the builder has the option to use different um, cap colors and LED colors and so forth. And these switches are available from multiple suppliers. Four of the most common are here, Hongzhou, Honey One, CNK, and eSwitch. Now you can see the groups of four here are just four options for buying these switches. In this case, there are four different manufacturers. So when you see these grouped up by color, it's basically just saying, hey, here's four options, pick one. You don't buy all four of them, you just buy one. There's a note at the bottom of the bomb. Colored sections only buy from one source. So again, back up to the switches, you're gonna buy one. So if you don't buy our switch set, you have the option of buying them from Honey One, uh, their eBay store. You can buy CNK versions from Mauser or DigiKey or eSwitch versions from Mauser or DigiKey. Now I'll note the CNK and eSwitch versions of these switches are very expensive, somewhere between four and eight or four and nine dollars a piece, which is very expensive. But if you're doing something particular and you're looking for a color scheme um, and you can't sample or buy them from another source, you may want to go ahead and buy them from there. So we've gone ahead and added them. And in this case, on the end, there's actually a link to the data sheet for each manufacturer's version of these switches. So we use the Hongzhou part. It's a reputable supplier um, used by many companies, including Abstract, DSI Sequential, and several others. So that's the best case, is to just go ahead and buy that set if you want the standard color scheme. Also, incidentally, if you're using these standard switches, matching LEDs for the discrete LEDs on the panel. The discrete LEDs are actually included in the VS1 Synth DIY kit already. So in that case, you just need to buy the Hongzhou switch set, and the LEDs included in the kit will match perfectly. The second part we have is the power supply enclosure. You can see here switch mode PSU enclosure from EOS Power. This part is available from several suppliers, but it tends to never be in stock. So we went ahead and bought several hundred of them so that everyone will be able to get one. Um, worst case, they can buy it from our online store. This is just the enclosure for the Meanwell RPT75C power supply, which is right here. Now at the bottom of the bomb, there's the change log that shows the most recent changes. Generally, it's just resistor value changes and so forth. There shouldn't be too many changes from here on out, um, but you can see the history. Okay, so that's it. So I hope this helps.